Coming up on American Builder, Gurry gets a sneak peek of the Philadelphia Magazine Design Home. The back of the house is nicer than the front of the house, if that can be. Before its official grand opening to the public. Do you call it a kitchen at this size? While Jimmy's on teardown duty in this American Builder classic. You know what's holding this together is the ants. The tools, the technology, the reality. He's like yeah. an Eskimo getting sent out to seek his old. American Builder starts right now. Hey, it's Brian Gary. Welcome to the American Builder. I'm down here for the last time at the Philadelphia Magazine Design Home. It's party night, but right before I get to the party, I'm going to take one more tour with Bob. He's going to show me exactly how everything came out, and I already know it came out perfect. Also going to take a quick tour with the audio-visual, because in a house this size, there's got to be at least 15, 20 TVs. Let's go inside, take my last tour, and then we'll hit the party. I'm standing in the kitchen. I've got EJ from the Hi-Fi house. EJ, hey Brian. I um, typical home light switches, turn the lights on. Right. Every time I come by and see you guys, I'm sort of peeking at what you're doing. Right. That's not a light switch. That no, I'm this is definitely right not a light switch. This is a 17-inch uh, touch panel that ties the whole house together. Basically, every low-voltage electronic system in the house is tied into our control system. We can control everything in the house from this one touch panel location. From here. from here. Is this the only touch panel in the house? No, this is the biggest one that Crestron makes. Crestron is the automation system that we use. We have a couple of smaller six inch touch panels at the entryways so that you can turn the alarm on and off or turn lights on and off as you come in the house. As soon as I look at it, and I've, I've seen smaller and not so, so technical as this, and I'm afraid of them right off the bat. Right. Every system that we install in a client's home is custom designed just for that client. There's literally nothing that they could do that would break the system. Okay. All of the boxes, all of the widgets and the black boxes and all that stuff is hidden down in the basement. They never have to see that, they never have to touch it. This is the only interface. This is uh, actually the size of a lot of TVs that we install in kitchens. So in this case, this will actually be the TV. Now we're not quite done installing yet, but if I select the cable box, eventually there'll be a video window here that actually shows the TV. Now the beauty of this, you can do this to any other TV in the house. Every room that's on the system is listed here, as well as a currently playing source. So you can see we're in the kitchen and we have the cable selected. If somebody was up in the master bedroom, we would know what source they were watching or listening to. And we could change it from here. So every time my kids are watching something ridiculous, I can make them watch the American Builder Show. Absolutely. Nice. <laughs> So how hard is it right now to go from here and watch some TV, but I want to adjust some lights? Is that Absolutely. Let's mode? say you're getting ready to have a party. So you're watching TV while you were doing some prep work in the kitchen. Right. We would go here. Uh, let's go to the lights page, and you're ready to have that party. We're going to hit preset two, which is the entertain scene. Right. Now you're going to see the lights start to slowly oh, dim yeah. down. They did. They're going to the entertain level. And the cool part is when we're done, we're also going to start playing your favorite song softly throughout the, the house. The music's going to come back up. So that just dimmed every house, every, every, every light. Every on light this in the floor. house. This one right here. Mm -hmm. Really? Every, every, every light in the house just Everywhere on just went on. Yep. One button. Yep. So obviously this all ties into some hub or whatever you call it. What do you yeah, call? there's a, it a hub. A, it's a hub, it's a command center. So it's right here in the basement. It's right downstairs. Let's go see. Let's go take a look. Good. So EJ, obviously this is one of your racking systems. As a homeowner, I don't have to know anything about this. That's the beauty of our systems that we put in. You never have to touch anything here. And if you look, you probably recognize the cable hey, boxes. Here's my, uh, the exact same ones you see where you probably you probably have in your house. I have in my house. Now they're down here. Never have to touch them. We have remote access through the computer network. We can come in, we can log in, we can check on the system. We get emails from the system when they t telling us that things are going on. We just did a job down in Dover Down Cell where the sure. casino, sure. where you have about six of these racks yep. in. So you actually do huge things also. Absolutely, we do huge commercial projects. We also have much larger residential ins installations. Typical project for us might be a rack maybe a little bit shorter, right. like what you see here. But I'm working on a couple jobs right now where we have four, five, and six racks long. In might, a home. In, in a home. We might, have, huh. we might have 40 rooms that have stereo sound and another 10 or 12 rooms with TVs. 
Do you do smaller homes? Do you do what I'm calling an average home? Absolutely, a home like that might have three or four rooms with speakers in it. We only need one amplifier, so we have a much smaller rack. So really, our systems are scalable from just a couple rooms all the way up to you know, 20, 30,000 square foot homes. So I wouldn't be embarrassed to say that this would be overkill for my house, but you do smaller homes You might also. be surprised, this might fit great in your house. I'd like that in my house. But yeah, we do, but yeah, we do do smaller ones as well. Hey, thanks, thanks very thanks much, this is great. And uh, you dumbed it right down for me, I'm sold. All right, sounds good. Take care.